you know the basic operations with matrices. Addition, multiplication with the scalar, and matrix times vector. Now you wonder, can we multiply two matrices? Well, yes we can, but not all matrices. In this web lecture you will learn which matrices you can multiply and how to compute their product. Suppose you have two matrices A and B. A in M times N matrix and B in N times P matrix. In this case I can compute A times B because that gives M times N times N times P and you can only compute the matrix product if these over here are equal, which in this case is the case, and the result will be an M times P matrix. Now let's look what happens if you would try to compute B times A. Then we'll try to compute N times P times M times N. And you see these over here are not the same, so B times A would not be defined. So now you know when you compute the matrix product, but how do you compute it? And why do you have this strange rule over here? Well, let's see. Let's write B in, in terms of its columns. B is an N times P matrix, so N high and width of P. So B has P columns, because the width of B is P. All columns have N components, so the factors BI are all in RN. Well, how do we compute A times B? Well, A times B equals A times matrix B written in terms of its columns. And then the definition is that you just take the matrix A in. So A times B is a new matrix that has columns AB1 up till ABP. That means that the width of the matrix becomes P. Well, B is in Rn, so the vector B has N components. A is an M times N matrix, so height m and width n. So if we multiply a times a vector bi, we get a vector with m components. So a times bi is in rm. So that's about the sizes. Well, that looks quite complicated. Well, if you look at a specific example, we see that's not that bad. Suppose we have a over here, b over there. So a is a 2 by 3 matrix and b is a 3 by 2 matrix. That means that we can compute A times B. 2 by 3 times 3 by 2 will yield, it will yield a 2 by 2 matrix. How can we find A times B? Well, we need A times B1 and A times B2 because B has two columns. So let's compute A times B1 first and A times B2 next. A times B1, 1, 2, 3. How do we get that? We know already how to compute matrix times vector. A times B1 yields 1 times the first column of A, plus 2 times the second column of A, plus 3 times the third column of A. And we add all the numbers, 1 plus 0 plus 6 equals 7, and minus 1 plus 1 plus 0 equals 1. So that's A times B1. And then we continue with A times B2. Here we have A again, B2 equals 4, 5, 6. A times B2. 4 times the first column of A plus 5 times the second column of A plus 6 times the last column of A yields 4 plus 0 plus 12 equals 16 minus 4 plus 5 plus 0 equals 1. And there we have A times B2. So AB equals 7 1 as first column and 16 1 as a second column. So as you see, computing matrix times matrix is just as difficult as computing matrix times factor a few times. So that's all.